presentation karibuni sana feel free to like share and subscribe so today i'm going to share with us a few scholarship opportunities for nursing training in kenya so this applies to those of us who are starting the training as a pre-service program for those of us who may want to advance maybe specialize in an area or as at a postgraduate level so this is a, is as a result of some of the questions that i've received and i thought it would be wise just to share some of the opportunities that i'm aware about and any of us if you have any other opportunities feel free to comment uh, so that we can be of help to everyone who is in attendance and everyone who may need uh, more information on the same so i uh, will start with the first one the first one is called camille organization so it's a community-based organization that was set up in 2009 in kenya the main focus of this organization was on mental health uh, clinics in the low income areas within nairobi including the slum areas but over time it has grown because of the mental health needs within the society and as we speak it has over 30 clinics across Kenya so based on that they are provided opportunities for nurses who are already in practice but they would want to venture into mental health training and further advance the provision of mental health care services within the community so they offer the scholarship opportunities through KMTC Madare campus one of the referral center for mental health issues or mental health conditions and there's a campus that offers mental health training so if you're a nurse and you want to venture into mental health training you can look into Camille organization unfortunately i just checked that uh, training for this year the deadline has passed it was last month 22nd march for the training but as well you know information is power you can be on the lookout then prepare yourself maybe for the next year's training so that in time you can put in your application and then apply through Camille organization and they will sponsor you you for the training including attachment opportunities within their satellite clinics that are spread across the country then uh, another one we have is base titanium so base titanium is one of the largest mines in kenya but located in kwale county so they offer scholarship opportunities not only nursing but also tertiary courses focus more on students who come from kwale county so you've subscribed and you're from kwale county or you know a friend or you know someone someone who may want to be sponsored and they come from Kwale County, please pass the information to them that they can approach base titanium and they would be sponsored. They not only sponsor nursing training, but they also sponsor other training so long as it's at tertiary level and they meet the needs of the community and especially the focus is applicants who are come from backgrounds that are not privileged, they are not able to foot their training needs so they are able to sponsor the, the training. We talked about that then we have friends for life friends for life is also based in mombasa or mombasa county they also sponsor students within the, the coastal region so whether you're coming from kilifi malindi mombasa kwale counties uh, fortunately i've also seen uh, students who come from other counties so long as you're within kenya they are able to sponsor uh, the good thing with friends for life is they will always call you for interview sessions so sometimes it's how best to perform through those interview sessions they also have social workers who will come and assess if uh, whatever you've mentioned during the interview process is the truth the good thing with friends for life is that after training they will allow you or mentor you to the extent that you're able to get a job so that you're able to repay back and sponsor another student or the funds that you repay back is able to sponsor other students so i would uh, advise us if from other counties apart from those mentioned you can still try your luck you never know it's better you try and fail than uh, than fail to try at all the best thing as i said is you put your best foot forward and give yourself i mean or rather give your all during the interview process Stones fund uk it's a united kingdom based organization 
organization that um, it was started as a charity program aiming to relieve poverty and sickness in urban and rural Kenya through education and access to effective health care. So over time, they realized that there's a huge need. So to bridge that gap to access to effective health care, they started sponsoring nursing students, especially those who are either training in the rural Kenya or they come from rural Kenya, but because of one reason or another, they're not able to meet their training needs because, you know, nursing training is very expensive. So they come in and they're able to sponsor students through nursing training. And one of the institutions that I've known that they partner with is the Matibabu Foundation College of Health Sciences, where they offer student nurses in rural Kenya assistance with their educational cost. So if, for instance, you come from an under and a privileged background or you're not able to meet the cost maybe it's it is one of the colleges that you can look out for and seek and find out what is sponsorship or scholarship opportunities like then if you feel that they are able to sponsor or you get you get lucky and they're able to sponsor you then you may give it a shot and try because i mentioned over the previous presentations sometimes it doesn't matter so much where you train as long as the institution has been a approved by the Nursing Council of Kenya. So this is one of the institutions to look out for. It's called Mary Ann Van Dam uh, School of Nursing. It is it, it, it has partnered with Matibabu Foundation uh, College of Health Sciences. In both of these institutions, under the Eating Stones Fund UK, they are looking for a way of, of, of renaming it to Nursing Now. So if you are if you go to their website, you will find that they are talking about uh, the name changing the name to Nursing uh, Foundation or Nursing now and eating stones you cave uh, is the same thing so it is something that worth looking out for it may be of assistance to you so we have also other opportunities that you can uh, approach or other opportunities that you can be on the lookout for we have the community development constituency development fund sorry our uh, bursaries these are bursaries that are provided within our constituencies through our local mp or the women rep i'm happy that some constituencies doing so well about it they are giving, actually, there are some constituencies that fully sponsor students for nursing training. A very good example is like they were in Gishu County. I've known several students who have gotten full scholarship from this constituency based purely on CDF. So maybe you can just uh, look out. You know, sometimes we are so pessimistic and we think they can only give maybe 5,000 or 10,000. It may look small, but that will go an extent or a huge way to help reduce your training costs so this the cdf bursaries please look out for them however little they give please accept because they go a long way in um, reducing your training costs other opportunities are help which we know unfortunately i think for the last one year they've been low on cash flow so they've not been sponsoring as much but i hear they are yet to open up for first time applicants so please look out for them uh, so that as soon as the portal opens up, you make your application so that you benefit from help. We also have what we call Ratansi Education Fund, closely related to Raimtula Education Trust. So I know the institutions that have benefited from it, the students who have benefited from Ratansi Education Fund, especially are those who are in uh, in the government uh, owned institution like mtc and uh private on some private owned institution so long as the good thing with scholarships it is how you defend your case whenever you're called for an interview uh, session so i would advise us not to shy away from trying please look out for them they could be of assistance to you and finally we have ministry of health or county health boards this majorly applies for those who are already nurses they're already practicing and maybe one wants to add advance um, their training uh, maybe to specialize in a program so most county health boards they check within their county where are the gaps where are the health needs and then they choose to sponsor to sponsor specialized training so these are the opportunities that you can look out for so i i would request us if you have any any more opportunities you can comment down below so that those of us who are in the lookout can be able to be educated and grab those opportunities as they come by. So I wish you all the best in your search for scholarship opportunities and I hope that you'd be successful so that, so that at the end of the day you get the training that you so desire. I wish you all the best. Thank you.